Hi parents, I just have a quick presentation I wanted to share with you about our virtual learning and what it's gonna look like until the end of the year. Our last school day this year will be June 9th, so we will continue with our virtual learning until then. So I have some information on Zoom meetings and our virtual meetings that I wanted to share with you. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right. Do me. Oh, hold on. I need this to go away. Okay. All right. So, um, like I said, we'll be continuing with virtual learning until June 9th. The students are doing a wonderful job so far. They are, you know, coming to the live lessons and participating and doing a great job. So, just a little bit of information. Some of it is from Pinewood and some of it's from Pre K. So, let's go ahead. Um, the expectations as far as Pinewood goes and pre-K is um, do your best to have students connect with teacher according to classroom schedules. So that just means be on time. Um, try to connect during school hours if at all possible. Students will have two hours of instruction per day. Um, that includes their live lessons with me. That includes the time that they're spending on schoolwork at home and any other work they're doing. Um, they will receive feedback on must-do assignments um, as designated by the grade levels and please ensure that their um, weekly assignments are submitted um, through Dojo is what we are mostly using in pre-K. How to help students focus. Um, please ensure that your students have a space to work during the Zoom time and the independent time. Um, usually at a table is a good spot where they're sitting and they're and it's a quiet area. Um, eliminate distractions like television phones, gaming devices, anything like that during school working hours. You would be really surprised um, how much background noise we are all able to hear during Zoom lessons. The microphones and the speakers on the devices really pick up a lot of background noise. So as quiet and distraction free as you can make it would be super helpful. Um, make sure your students are completing the tasks and you're submitting them on Dojo and communicating with me if you have any other needs outside of academic needs that we can help you with this year. Just let me know. Um, and this, I kind of did this just for you guys. This is kind of a checklist of things that you can go by on a daily basis um, to make sure you're doing what you need to do for pre-K. So first thing in the morning, check Dojo for the question of the day. Um, it's the first thing I post every morning, so please have your student answer the question of the day. It can just be, usually I'm asking for a word or two, sometimes a picture if possible, that kind of thing. Then directly after that, I always post a morning message, and that includes all of the lessons for the day, and I've been putting the links in there as well. I know some parents had asked for the links again for the Zoom meetings, so I'm including those each morning and also the link for our YouTube channel. So it's all right there in one place for you. Also make sure you're going to the YouTube channel and completing the lessons for the day. You don't have to do them all at one time by any stretch of the imagination. You can go and do one and then do something else for a little while, come back and do the next one. However that works for your family is fine. Um, attend the live Zoom lessons at either 10 o'clock or three o'clock. You are not locked in to a particular time. I know right now everyone kind of has their time that works best for them, but if on a particular day, you know in the afternoon you're not gonna be at home, go ahead and have your student come to the 10 o'clock time. That's completely fine. Um, the students are welcome at any time. The lessons are pretty much the same at 10 or three o'clock, so any time they attend is fine. Occasionally we'll have um, extra live lessons that your child is welcome to attend if they're able to and i'll post about those in the morning if your child has another zoom for that day and then please please post their assignments once they are completed on dojo that is the only way we have any evidence that the students are doing the work doing the assignments listening to the stories answering the questions completing the small group activities is if we have evidence on dojo now if you're having trouble posting things on dojo you can ask me, Miss um, Tilly or Miss Corrado to help, um, or you can just send us pictures um, as well if you can't figure out how to post in portfolio. Other parents may be able to help you as well. So if 
you can't figure it out, there may be another parent that can help you out. So just let us know if you need any help with any of that. Okay, so we are so happy that you guys have done such a good job um, with your students this year. We're we love seeing their little faces every day. It brightens my day, I know, and they make me laugh. And so we look forward to seeing them until the end of the school year and we're doing everything we can to get them ready and kindergarten ready for next year. Um, as the school year starts to wind down, we'll do some more fun stuff, but um, we, we need those kids to come to Zoom and come to the lessons and do the assignments. And so if you have any questions about any of that, or if your schedule has changed and you're having a hard time getting on Zoom, please, please don't hesitate to let me know. I have been doing a nightly Zoom um, once a week. I did it last week at seven o'clock. So if there's something that's going on with your family and your work schedule and you can only come to a night lesson um, with your students, so just let me know and I'll send you the link for that as well, okay? So again, if you have any questions, please let us know. We're here to help. and. We can't wait to keep teaching your children and for the rest of the year and we will see everybody soon. Bye.